Hi there, I am participating today in the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. I'm Christy, for those of you that are new. Um, so I just wanted to pop in quick and say hi as an intro before the video starts for today's vlog. Today you're going to get to see me make this, and you will also get to see Chaz make a cake out of some of the pantry things that we found and some zucchini that I grew in my garden and I tricked him to think that it was actually pineapple because I canned it as a crushed pineapple um, but it was actually zucchini so it's kind of fun that he gets to cook with that today anyways I hope you enjoy I will see you back here in a bit these have been sitting in my cupboard forever so I wanted to use them up today and I thought it'd be a good day for Chaz to learn how to use a cake mix and uh, so I needed some pineapple crushed pineapple to go into this recipe this is zucchini that i shredded and canned up in pineapple juice so i decided to use this up today and i also needed some eggs which i didn't have any raw eggs uh, or fresh eggs so i wanted to use some freeze-dried eggs and i got those reconstituting so um you know these are just substitutions if i had fresh eggs and my hands were laying i would use the fresh ones but this is what i had so i just strained off the pineapple juice off of the fake pineapple which is zucchini i actually tricked chaz with this on ice cream once and he didn't he would not believe me that it was zucchini like i had to he had to ask my mom because he didn't believe me it was quite funny so next i just washed up some carrots i scrubbed them up really well I needed four cups of shredded carrots so i set my uh, food processor on the medium shred and I find that my food processor does the best for shredding carrots when I run it on high. So I'm not sure if that goes the same for all, but that just seems to be what works the best for me to make a nice shredded carrot. And amazingly, I had exactly four cups of carrots. It was, I had no other carrots. One thing I definitely do know is I am going to freeze shredded carrots in the future. I really miss having them on my pantry. We're gonna make this cake but we're doubling it because we have two packages. So what does the instruction say? Um, boil an eight inch silicone round pan in a large bowl, whisk two eggs with one third cup oil and half cup crushed pineapple. So we are going to double this recipe. So how much, how many eggs do we need? Four. So I have the equivalency of that made up already there. Yep. And how much pineapple do we need? Cup crushed pineapple. So we need one cup total? Yep. And what do we need for carrots? Uh, four cups. Four cups. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got. And we also need how much oil? Um, two sixths of a cup, which is also for 12 sixths of a cup. So what is it? One, one, one third? Yeah, one third, so third and third is two sixths. So if you need one third twice. Two, oh, two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> just having a moment there. Really? Yeah. Is that what they teach you in grade eight? <laughs> we, we just started fractions, I should know this. <laughs> so we're putting your schooling to good use today? I guess so. So we need the oil, which is down in the Lazy Susan, and we also need a big bowl. All right, so in a big bowl, whisk eggs and oil. So we need to measure the oil in the bowl. It's a third. Huh? It's a third. So then what would you have to do? Put it in twice. Huh? Put it in twice. Put it in twice? Are you sure? Yeah. Mr. Mathematician man. So I would say this is approximately one cup. Yep. And that is actually, what is it? Do you remember? This is a cube of pineapple. Yeah. And could you tell? No. Did I trick you with it? Yeah, I did. You didn't believe me it was zucchini, did you? No, there's no way. I can't hear you what? There's no way I thought that was going to be zucchini. Stir in the four cups of carrot. Stir in four cups of carrot. 
Dexter in the mix and fourth of the cards. Yeah, there's folding. Good job you remembered. It might be in. Might need a bigger bowl. I don't know, the bowl might keep it in. So it's a little stiff, so we're gonna add a little bit more. This is pineapple juice. From our canned pineapple. Add the two cups of grated carrots and scrape it into a pan. Okay, now do it without making a mess. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible? This is the fold and plop method, or what is? what do you call this version of stirring, sir? I don't know, to be honest. No names for it? Don't make a mess. It's the don't make a mess method? Mm-hmm. So does this method apply just to stirring, or can we apply it to your room, too? Only stirring. Only stirring? Put butter in it. When you use oil in a cake pan like this to do baking, it'll make it stick lots of the time, so it's best to do butter. Got all of them there. Did you? Yeah. I guess the don't make a mess only applied to the stirring, not the pouring, hey? Yep. Is that kid logic? I think so. Let's see your arm. It's not so bad. Don't burn yourself. Now we wait for the magic. Yep. Good job. While Chaz's cake is baking in the oven, I decided to work on supper. So what I'm doing is making a ranch dressing and it's pretty simple to make my version of ranch. I start out with approximately one cup of mayonnaise. I always prefer to use homemade mayonnaise, but my chickens are not laying, so I'm using Hellman's. I used a couple tablespoons of chives about a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of granulated garlic, and one tablespoon of granulated onion, and about a half of a tablespoon of dill. And I just give that a stir. This changes all the time. Um, I don't make it the same. In today's recipe, I uh, tried to do it in a version that um, may have had more of an accurate measure, but I just dump stuff in usually. So what I'm doing is I am going to reconstitute some turkey. Uh, a while back in December, I had done a vlog where I roasted a turkey, and then I took that meat and I freeze-dried it. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to reconstitute this turkey so I can make uh, turkey bacon ranch wraps tonight for dinner. And so what I'm going to do is use <laughs> Molly. You ever have that treats. feeling you're being watched? Molly. <laughs> she will do anything for a treat. Um, so anyway, what I was going, what I was saying is I'm reconstituting the turkey in ranch. So I added a little bit of cashew milk. I added some of the ranch we just made. And then I also added about a tablespoon of this veggie um, broth stuff that I had. Because I should have, what I should have done is should have went and got a small jar of um, bone broth from my pantry. But I just wanted to use up this uh, veggie broth that I had ordered from Organic Matters. And it was still a little bit thick. Um, so I added some more water to run it down or water it down so it would reconstitute and the turkey would absorb all the flavors of the ranch and the veggie um, dip, the veggie 
uh, powder that I just put in there and just I basically just give it a really good stir and I set it off into the fridge so it could reconstitute um, the remaining ranch I put it in a little dish so that we could use it to have it as a dip or in our sandwiches next I am actually making a icing for Chaz's cake that he is baking and um, I'm actually making parfaits so this is a cream cheese. I had cream cheese in the fridge to use up. It's been there for a while. So I'm just adding about a half a cup of butter and a thing of cream cheese. And then this is some homemade vanilla, which is made with vodka and vanilla beans that I started about seven months ago. And I just beat that together until smooth. And now I'm adding in some um, icing sugar and I'm just... Want like the beater? Yeah summoned the child for beater licking duty how do kids know like it's just they have a radar the best part about being a kid oh yeah <laughs> okay bring them back when you're done so Chaz and Tyson they really like carrot cake par cake parfaits and our local grocery store makes that but since I haven't been shopping I haven't been bringing them any treats so I decided to make it for them instead so I just chopped up this cake that Chaz made and then I'm adding a little bit of icing and like lasagna layering it I really like making these parfaits because you can use as much or as little of the ingredients as you choose you two are quite a lot the same you're just waiting for scraps to fall or what I guess so. Chaz huh are you waiting maybe I wish I would have had the camera on the two of them because they were both begging for treats. And um, so, of course, I did what any stepmother would do. I caved and let him have his dessert before supper. His argument is he has a duty to taste test for you guys who are YouTube fans. All right, Mr. Taste Tester. Dessert before supper again? That's good. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good? Easy 10. Of what? I'm sorry, I can't hear you when your mouth is shoveled full. <laughs> An easy 10. An easy 10? Easy. So, what do you say the cake, the way you made it, like using a cake mix, do you think, what do you think that was for easiness of making? Well, it was really easy. Like, any, like lots of people can do it. So if you had icing and cake, you can make a parfait. Do you think this is a dessert you can make by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Would, does it inspire you to try to make, do more baking in the future? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Mm -hmm. I just have to stop making you good treats, and then you'll have to make it yourself. Uh-huh. Fly, little bird, fly. <laughs> huh. It's like gone already. Did you breathe in between bites? So this is what they look like when I had them all done. I just set them in the fridge and the icing did firm up a little bit more, but they were really good. I think it was nice. So next it was time to make supper and I wanted to spice things up a bit, but I was checking to make sure that the turkey reconstituted well and it did. It was basically like a salad, um, like a chicken salad texture. And I decided I wanted to spice it up with some chipotle. Usually if it was just me here and I was making this for myself, I would add apples or some grapes and, you know, whatever else, maybe some veggies like peppers or something. But the guys, they like spicy things. So I added some chipotle uh, pepper and this stuff is really powerful. I probably added a little bit more than I probably should have, but it was a really nice chipotle ranch flavor with this um, the way that this was all come together. So I just took some cheese wraps that I found in the freezer. I don't even know how long they were in there. I had no idea they were in the freezer. So basically I just topped um, the tortilla with some of the, the turkey and I added cheese and then I got some homemade pickles. I threw the pickles on there with some lettuce and then I just added a little bit more of the ranch dressing and threw that down on there. I realized I forgot to add the bacon. <laughs> oh, I, I felt so bad because he loves the bacon on there. And this was Chaz's wrap. So anyway, it, it was really good. I didn't show cooking the onion rings. I just air fried them. They were from the store. 
Um, but it was a it was a really nice dish. I forgot yeah. to put your bacon inside of your wrap. Okay. Just pretend it's in there. Right. <laughs> you gonna taste the wrap? Yep. And just like. It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. What what flavors do you notice right off the bat? Dill, for sure. Dill. Um, pepper, a little bit of spice. Does it have a smoky flavor? Mm. A little bit. So what do you score it out of 10? 10. 10. <laughs> a, ten. a 10? Yeah, I love wraps like this. I'm on a roll still. Mm -hmm. So like I've gone all month. You haven't given me anything less than a ten at all in a whole over a month. Do you want me to? Maybe we should make spaghetti squash and raw tomatoes. You're not scoring a ten, just so you know. If you make that or sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's good. What? You like sauerkraut? Yeah. No. When did that happen? I've had it lots before. I don't know. I like it. I haven't given you sauerkraut in a long time since the last time your dad threw a hissy fit. <laughs> so a 10. And mm -hmm. the onion rings, well, so I just air fried them, but they're good. Mm -hmm. I think. What do you think the onion rings are? I didn't show how to cook them, but. Uh, they're like an 8 out of 10. Uh, they're not the best, but they're good. So if I would have made them homemade, do you think I'd have been, they'd have been better? Probably. They're crispy and mm -hmm. cooked, right? Mm hmm Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.